everybody and uh, welcome uh, to another bedford uh wrecker wagon build yes and you're sorry about the uh the pop it's still not working as you probably guessed there was no sound again at the beginning so i had to stop it and restart the intro um so yeah i'm gonna have to uh email him about that I don't know whether you saw me backstage, but I was going, yeah, second time. Yeah, it's all right. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, um, goodness me. So, uh, a week soon flies by, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it has so, gone. Right. Yeah. So, I hope everybody's all right there in chat land. So, uh, there's a lot of people in chat land tonight. We've got, I can see 17 people watching us so far. Wow. So, uh, if you've joined us for the first time, uh, I'm Dave from DS Models and Vintage. And uh, this is Horlix. <laughs> Horlix. And uh, Horlix, uh, uh, well, it was Horlix's idea to, to actually do this channel, really. So, and uh, it, we've got, so we've got Horlix to blame. If anything goes wrong, aren't we? Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, I get blamed. Yeah, it's fine. So no, <laughs> we're running obviously. So no, um, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't um, uh, already uh, joined us on our streams, and um, if you're if you've seen this for the first time, please please press the subscribe button on both of our channels, and um, and then press the bell as well, which is one of them. And you will then get uh, notification of other things that we're doing at the same time. So, um, right. Goodness me, I'm going to quickly look at this chat. I'm going to say, hello, Gillian. Hello, Warren. Hello, Lee. Hello, Dee. Hello, Mary, my mum. Hello, Scott. Uh, hello, Crafty Chris. Um, goodness me, hello everybody, and hello, Harlex. And uh, so, Harlex is in there. Hello, David Bassett. Hello, and uh, hello, Peter, Peter Webster. Hello, hello, Jordy Dave. Jordy Dave, got something for you. Well, hey, look at this. Keep calm and let Dave handle it. Yeah, there we go. Look, handle it. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I've got Jordi Dave to thank for my T-shirt. So thank you ever so much for that, Jordi Dave. So we've got uh, Dave Matt Bills in there as well. And we've got David Bassett. And I think I've mentioned everybody's name now. So, yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you ever so much. And it's shot up already to 19 people watching us. So that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. So that just proves how popular this is then, Horlicks, doesn't it? Yeah. And I'm really enjoying it as well. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And um, I think I'm going to make a bit of progress tonight. So hopefully, cross fingers. Yeah. And a couple of little more. Well, not a couple. I'm going to do a little mod tonight as well. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. already done the lights, but I'm going to do another little mod just to give it some, uh, yeah, just to give it something nice. Bit more character, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's jolly good. Okay, so I have not got as much progress as you, Horlex, and that's because I'm like at the other end of the country and you're down at the bottom end of the country. And you're the minute you've got better weather than that than we've got, um, I, I've got to say that for most of the week it's been very, very cold and very, very damp. And uh, I've not been able to do as much spray painting as I'd like. And that's another reason why I haven't got on with the bus that's behind me and my open top bus as well, because obviously I cannot spray um, in, inside the house. Uh, and uh, I think a few of you know that I always spray with rattle cans and I, I just paint uh, very small bits with paintbrush. So I need rattle can weather. And... Um, it's got not to be too damp, not to be too cold, and everything else. So it's it's quite difficult finding the tan uh, and to actually spray these bits. So I'm a little bit com uh, uh, frustrated, um, especially today, because um, it, today has been one of the worst days ever outside. It's been very, very cold. In fact, it's been freezing fog all day long. So, and it's with the with the freezing fog and the the fogginess of it it's been really damp and it's been difficult to actually do anything today outside so 
um yeah i have done some bits uh, which i will show you and i will do a little bit of progress tonight i'm hoping to get the wheels on and uh, little things like that so i'm hoping to get some progress done and hopefully by next week or the next show i'll hopefully get a lot more done uh, if the weather picks up a little bit okay so we've got steve 131 in there as well so hi hi steve and hi to everybody else that i haven't mentioned as well so thanks for joining us tonight we've got 20 people watching now so that's lovely thank you very much and uh yeah this is very very popular do you want to go cameras down yeah i can do yeah give you a um, so, okay so i'm gonna go pop my camera down if i can find my camera come on camera hurry up camera there we go so let my camera just a second or two i'll just quickly show you what i'm going to do i'm going to put these wheels on okay so all these wheels are here they're going on the chassis i've got the uh, fuel tank here which i've got to glue together and put on and then i've got uh, i'm going back to the instructions again uh, there's the fuel tank on the instructions there the wheels on the instructions there and i've got some steering parts to put on there and then I can actually go to the cab bits so I can start cutting some cab, cab bits out of the sprue uh, for ready for spraying. And then I can um, organize my wings and I can organize the back of the body for the body. And that's what I'm going to do tonight is put the back of the body on, uh, which is these uh, rails that sit on top of the chassis. And I'll probably paint them as well. So if I get to step eight, or thereabouts uh, i'll be happy tonight lovely yeah i think i'm sure you will and i'm like sort of the same um so i've got a lot of this done since last time so this is looking a bit more a bit a little bit more with it yeah so i've got the engine in and that was really hard work actually um yeah this piece here was quite tight to fit in um yes. and it's it's almost i want to say boeing it's that tight so yeah kept trying to push the engine up yeah so i had to literally douse it in glue under there which you can't see because i painted over it um yeah. and then clamp it down and just let it dry um, and it seems to be holding up now um it's okay so um, I've got some more bits on. I've done this um, this little part here. Yeah. On that was quite hard to do. Yeah. Really hard actually because you it's in two bits. So you put your um, this bit into the into the side there, and then there's this arm that has hard to see. So I painted it, but there's this arm that glues on here, and then this part here you have to glue these together yeah so that was quite tricky but it's done yeah i've got um, that to do yeah so that's that so that's where i'm at with this and then hopefully by the end of the stream i'm going to get the wheels on hopefully yeah, yeah. which we did um and then also i've got to paint up the fuel tank so i've built that already and that's all glued um just needs to be painted what i shall probably do is actually glue it to this first it's going to go on there like so yeah I'm probably going to glue all that together and let that dry and then paint it on the model um, yeah. because i can i've done a bit of work on the battery so my dry uh, great now the problem is it was it's not it's only just about on there the detail so the dry brushing hasn't really gone as i intended because yeah. it's not very deep yeah but you I've, I've done a bit and you can just about make out what it is so i think that'll be okay you can see it says bedford yeah um and then the battery i've painted black and then i've um chrome pens the two terminals yeah and the plan tonight is i've got some of this cable oh shaped and then the plan is i'm going to glue these on the battery 
Lovely. And then try and run this cable somewhere just so it, I don't know, just to give it a bit of extra detail. Yeah, I think that's so a good idea. Get, so I'm going to try and get that done as well. Yeah. Um, and then also I'm going to try and, I've got a bit of painting to do, and I'm going to try and glue the wings on as well. Lovely. Um, and I think that we'll see, we'll see how we go from that point, really. Um, I've done some more on the back. So I showed you I did some decals on one side, which I'm really happy with. Yeah. And the other side is also done. Excellent. So the decals on this, the back bit is done. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, really, really pleased with that. Um, I've also done decal on the side of the frame here. Yeah. On laser weight. And then... Two tons, 900 weight. Yeah. Pound or something like that, is it? Something like that. So I've done that. And then the last thing I have actually done is... I've done another chrome strip down the middle of here, and I've also put the small decal on oh, it. Oh, looks lovely. Let's have a close up of that. The, oh, yes, indeed. I, I went a bit off skew on this line, unfortunately, but never mind. Okay, you might be able to touch it up with a bit of black if you're very careful. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get you a really good shot of that. Oh, yeah, I can certainly see it's a Bedford branch. With the, um, yeah, it's not a dragon, it's, uh, uh, um, yeah, I've forgotten what, it, what it's called now, the, the Bedford emblem. Um, it's not a dragon, it's a, oh, blimey, can't remember. I can't quite see it. It looks like a pirate ship. No, it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but but like from a distance, I think that's going to look fine. Yeah, yeah, it's going to look absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that's it, uh, David Bassett. It's a griffin. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. A griffin. Um, the um, those that haven't seen it lit up. Oh, yeah, which of lights as well. Yeah, bring that over. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And actually, if I can bring this up, I did do a little mock fit. For yeah. Uh, let me just have a little look, see if I've got the picture to hand. Because I showed Dave yeah. this the other night, didn't I? Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that, David. Yeah, Griffin. Um, I've forgotten all about that. Yeah, it was a griffin. It is a griffin, is the emblem. So we've got Alex Demetrius that's joined us as well. So hi, Alex. Hi. We're just going through uh, a few bits and pieces that we're hoping to do tonight and uh, hoping to um, get a little bit further on this model, if we can. There you go. Oh, yes, that's the one you did, didn't it? Yeah. So none of this is glued on. It's literally just hanging. It took a while. It was a bit like buckaroo, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, just balancing all this together. So you get a rough gist of how the front end's going to look. And do you know what? I'm really happy with it. So. Yeah. Really happy yeah. with it. Looks brilliant. And it looks brilliant lit up as well. So um, the yeah. cable fits down the chassis just as I planned it to. So that's really cool. Yeah. Um, See so you yeah, there. That's what we're going to end up with. Yeah, bro. So yeah, yeah ignore this bit because um, I say it was literally balancing in midair. <laughs> so I was lucky to even get that shot. Dave was like, "Quick, take a picture before it falls off." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with that. That was before I put the decal on there as well. So yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. that being said, I suppose we better start doing something. Yeah, we've better start doing something, I suppose, and um, yeah, try and get some something done if we can. So, uh, yeah, one of the things I'm going to do then is I'm going to uh, make the fuel tank and I'm going to um, put it together, glue it together and paint it, uh, pop, pop, pop it on the chassis and paint it. 
and oh yes i'm gonna gotta find my um silver chrome pen as well if i can it's something i meant to look for before the stream because i thought oh that's a good idea silver chrome pen I'll get some pieces. Oh, sorry. so yeah i found my pen i hope it's the right one no, it's the two mil one, but it'll be all right. So I'm going to need that later on. So, so we've got Rascal's Hobbies in as well. So howdy, everyone. We've got Ver Wayne as well. So howdy, Ver Wayne. Uh, thanks for joining us. So we're not reading out all the chat tonight, but we're, we're on with this model. Um, so it's just really a build and chat or uh, whatever you build and uh, update or work in progress or... Um, watching us build if you like so we're just taking things nice and easy uh, nice and steady and, uh, and guess what i've forgotten some water as well so <laughs> i might have to go get some water at some point anyway i don't have to do that now thank goodness so yeah, this is a 124 scale uh, Bedford model, if you've not uh, seen this before, by M. Hare. And um, it's the Bedford uh, OSB. It's the um, small uh, wheelbase one, the short wheelbase one. And uh, it's the uh, little, little, um, yes, it's the little uh, wrecker wagon, the little breakdown wagon. Uh, that they did in the series, the M Har series. There's four in the series. I've got all four, and uh, all we've got to do now is persuade uh, the other young man at the side of me there uh, to, if he wants to do the other three. Uh, yeah. So I might do. I mean, I'm. I've really been enjoying this, and yeah. And it's been nice because it's just been, you know, I know I've done quite a bit on it, but I have been taking my time and yeah. Just... Now I'm only I'm, I'm only lacking behind because of the the, the paint work, but you know that's that's going to be me for a little while. Is paint work? I um I like to 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 get the paint work done, but um this this weather's not helping at all, so unfortunately but we can't help the weather can we no no so we've just got to uh, be as happy as what we can be it could be a lot worse it could be far worse even <laughs> Just going to prepare these four bits for sticking together. I know they're difficult to see on my mat because my mat's grey, but I have got my um, little mat somewhere. But I don't want um, I don't want to pop any glue on it, so that's why I'm just working on this grey surface at the moment. So it's nice that we've got some lovely chat in the chat. So, and you're all getting to know one another and uh, chatting to know to one another, which is smashing. Right, my little glue pot and my cocktail sticks. Uh, let's modify my cocktail stick to start off with. Oh, there we go. Don't want it to go in me in my tea light, but there you go. No. <laughs> I actually found the bit uh, that, that sp sprung off last time and uh, it wasn't where I thought it was. It wasn't in my cup. So <laughs> it was actually, yeah, uh, it was actually on the chair over there on the, on the back of the chair. So, okay. So let's have a look at this then. These will fit in there, won't they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get them in first then. I'm sorry if I'm off camera a little bit. So I'm having to lean over to get things on camera, which is 
not the easiest of things to do, but and there are small bits as well, so. Come on, get in there. Little tiny weeny bits. And we'll glue that side in. And then we'll see where it's going to go from there. Yeah, this kit this kit's actually a wonderful kit. Um uh, which Harlix will agree to. It's absolutely I've been building some smaller kits for my um Lancaster diorama, if you've been following me on the northern model builders at all. And um the the bits that are, the the vehicles that I've been building have been one 135 132 scale whereas this is 124 scale so it's uh, a little bit larger and uh, i found in that the scale wise is better for me i don't like small scale models but i mean said that uh, the small scale models that i'm doing are 135 132 so they're not that small really um i think i've got a yeah austin tilly and it's about um it's about three quarters of the length of this so it's not that small it's certainly not as small as 176 scale or 172 so i think i've i've got to my limit really with 135 132 i don't think i want to build any smaller which is always been my preference really I always like to build these bigger models I should have said the bigger scales let's test it yes it'll go in there lovely right so let's pop some glue on oh I had I was just looking so I thought I had um, an open set of blades but obviously not we'll probably have somewhere yeah I've got a uh, problem with my blades I've, I've waylaid them somewhere I think they're in a in a in another box upstairs I think I will find them like but just hold this together while it sticks and I just um, hope my fingers don't stick to it <laughs> I know it looks like a bit like a suitcase but it's actually a fuel tank so yeah they had um, I don't know they had 10 gallon fuel tanks on these Bedfords I know there wasn't that much in them So David Bassett, I'm just looking across at the chat, and David Bassett says, uh, really hope we get to see you uh, scratch build uh, using one of these kits as a base into the wartime Bedford OWB bus, Dave. So, yeah, you will. Uh, you definitely will. So um, I haven't actually bought another kit to to, um, to do yet because, obviously, I'm a bit tired of money at the moment. But, um, yes, that's my plan. I do plan to buy a long wheelbase one. Um, probably the um, probably the tanker maybe, and then use the tanker on something else. So uh, use the tanker on the diorama that I was thinking of doing. Yeah, um, uh, and i will scratch build it into a Bedford OWB, and that's the wartime Bedford. If you don't know your Bedfords, that's the square angle. Uh, buses that had um they had actually wooden bench seats and um a, a seats that were like shaped for your bum and everything so i know that sounds a bit crude but uh that's how they want it was actually shaped so that you your your body um sat on them a bit better than uh, just a normal a normal seat so, and uh, 
Yes, there was made out of wood. Yes, there was made out of wooden slats. And so, therefore, you had to almost take your life in your hands that you didn't get a spell on your bum if you were sitting on one of these seats that was a bit worn, shall we say. Uh, because there was, there was uh, made out of wooden spells and everything. So, or wooden slats. Okay, so that's the fuel tank made. And she stuck nicely, and I haven't stuck my fingers to it. So, what's it like putting onto the chassis? Is it is it a, quite easy, or is it quite uh, difficult? Oh, well, the fuel tank. <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. Um, I had to. I got one side in, and I had to carefully bend the other. Um, oh. Oh, to get it in, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Bend this out very slightly, but it went in beautifully. Yeah, these are the tank uh, holders, uh, these two bits here. So, and uh, it, you can tell that it slots on to the four. Now, then, which way does it go, Horlux? Because um, just looking at my instructions. So, you should have uh, like a yeah. diagonal bit that goes to the front. Yeah. Or the top. There's like, because that's, it's like a key way, which is where this pipe's going to go on. Yeah. I see. So, yeah, and uh, and that goes down there as well, doesn't it? So, it's sort of facing outwards from the chassis. Yeah, that's it. Okay, 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 right. So. Oh. And that's very, very close. In fact, it's just jumped on there. Goodness oh, me! Brilliant. Can't believe that. Can't believe it's just jumped on there. It's been late, been a bit funny. I think it's just uh, the parts in there. Come on, late. Yeah, it's just jumped on there. So if I, I'll have to take it off now. Put some glue on there and then uh, pop it back on again and just hope that it goes on exactly the same. And if it does, we're laughing. If it doesn't, we're not laughing. Come on, where's the holes? There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, there we go. That's it, it's in. Well, that was easier than what I thought it was going to be. So that's the fuel tank on. It's got to dry and then I've got to paint it. So let's leave that there for a second. Uh, what else can I do? do, do, do uh, down to 16 now. So uh, there was initially quite a few people watching us. So uh, thank you for that. And um, we'd appreciate it if you'd leave us a like as well and a, or a comment or anything you like so what am i going to do now then i am going to move further on in the instructions i've got the fuel tank on i'm going to move on to the steering bar here in this section here uh, so i want b47 and b44 parts and they will be attached to the chassis and then i can put the wheels on okay so and uh, but what i might do is put that bit on and then paint the tank and then put the wheels on later on um because i want to have a go at the cab uh, which we'll show you in a bit and uh, and then i can turn over i want to have a go at the wings and then i want to have a go at this framework here for the body and um even though i've not got them all painted yet so right so and this will be the bit that's um that uh, Holic says was quite difficult so the bit there and the bit there which are 47 and 44 yes that's right b47 b44 okay oh yeah i can see how difficult that's going to be Holix. yeah i was sweating a bit because they are just tiny parts aren't they very tiny, that one there. 
and uh, this one here. Uh, to be careful how it cuts it off the frame as well. <laughs> There's one. It goes there. So I need them turning round. Right. Let's have a look. It's no good. Right. Get on there and a tiny hole there somewhere. I see. Yes. Okay, does any of these bits need cleaning up a little bit? Yes, indeed. So, let's have this in the orientation that it's meant to go up, and let's have a look. Oh, going to need something to stand it on. A couple of wild drums, how's that? So, my question yes. is, yes, I don't suppose it really matters, but is the red positive normally on the right on a battery? Um, I think it yeah. varies, doesn't it? Yeah, it does vary, but yes. Um, and it'll also depend if it's a positive earth or a negative earth vehicle. And um, you've probably not heard of that before. No. Okay. Well, a vehicle can either be a positive air or a negative air. Mostly, they are uh, negative air. Mostly. But, um, as, you, uh, as some of you know, um, we've got an elderly Morris Manor. It's a series MM one, and um, I think it's actually a negative earth. Sorry, positive earth. So uh, it's the other way around as what it normally normally is. So yeah, don't quote me on that one, but uh, yeah, I think it is. Um, in fact, I need to get to know it a bit more before I do spout off about that. But yeah, um, yeah, a vehicle can either be a positive earth or a negative earth, uh, which means that the uh, if it's a positive earth, then the earth strap of the battery goes onto the positive pole of the battery, the red pole of the battery, and that goes down to uh, the the earth of the vehicle, and then the right. negative negative part of the battery, the black. Uh, goes to the positive side of the vehicle so i know it's confusing but um yeah that's 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 how it can be so right let's have a look at this then because i'm digressing at the minute <coughs> excuse me so i've just glued on the first one Okay. And I think that cable's sort of in scale. I mean, it is quite thick, but... Yeah, I think it's... Well, it's not too bad, yeah. It's not too bad. It's actually given it an, an, an extra element, hasn't it? Hmm. I think so. I'm just going to try and get this tie rod in here. This uh, steering rod. Okay. What I'm going to have to do is poke that hole a little bit. And, and I've cut my thing down, haven't I? So I need another, another one. All right, well, I've just run out of coffee, so I'm just going to quickly make a coffee while that dries a bit. Okay. Just going to have to get this hole elongated a little bit so I can get that in. But I might need something a bit more substantial than that. 
so I'll have to have a little rake around in my tools, I think. Let's see what I've got on the table. Uh, yes, possibly one of them might do it. Yeah. Okay, let's put that back on there for a second. Oh, the sharp point. Yeah, that might do it. So I've got a little hole on the end of this axle stub here that just wants to be just a little bit deeper. Okay. I can try this again. Okay, yeah, I think once that's in the right place, it'll it'll glue okay. I've just had a bit of a score. What's that? So I didn't even know this, but perfectly, I mean, you can see this. Just a minute. I'll just put this down. Hole, just in there. All oh, right, yeah. If I bring this positive round, connect the black up, I thought I could bring the wires through this hole. Yeah. And then maybe run it somewhere and up to the back of it the red one to the back of the alternator yeah that's a brilliant idea yeah and then the black just literally glue it on the chassis on the chassis rail yeah yeah um it wouldn't be called an alternator though it would be called a dynamo i'm oh, sorry i don't mean alternator i mean a uh, starter motor yeah there's a starter motor and a dynamo the <laughs> yeah the alternators would have come in a lot a lot later than this but yeah uh, same principle really just the only problem is i don't know where to run that cable to interfere so i'm wondering if i should come down here and under the under this bit and then back up through there yeah that might be a good idea because i don't think there's a hole in the chassis no unless i make well. one but i don't really want to do that there is a hole there, but that's going to be for fitting the cab or something. Yeah, or the wings or something, into it? Yeah, so, yeah, I would take it underneath and then run it along and then take it to to um, to the dynamo or the starter motor. Yeah. Yeah, starter motor, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Gluing this in stages because All right, I've got a, I've got a gummy eye. I'm having to dress as well. I've got something in my eye. Okay, right. Let's go back to this bit. So that's going to go anchor into there. And that's going to anchor onto there. Okay, so I need a hole. Yep. And she's got a pin there. And we've got a hole there, yes. Okay. And that goes to the chassis. Okay. I've got to that. Yep. So that's the drop arm. Whoops. Drop arm for the steering. Come here. So let's get it in that hole first and see where it can go to then. I really could do with some slower, some slower um, glue, unless I can get it to glue in place with some tweezers. Let's have a practice. Mm, tweezer time. Not teaser time, tweezer time. Bye. What I've got to 
still no stop shaking. <laughs> I'm just using my tweezers to uh, shape this uh, wire. Uh huh. Which seems to be working rather magnificently. Right. Okay. So if I could get the general idea of where that goes, I could maybe stick them two together. Yeah. That's like in there. Okay. Indeed. Yes, I see why he was having a, a bit of a mare with this one. Yeah. Certainly can. Let me get this back in the chassis again. When it comes to inboard. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm going to take a. I'm going to take a chance on this one. All right. Some glue into the hole. Lift our glasses up so we can see the hole. There's the hole. Right. Okay. So let's go that on there. All I've got to do now is make sure that it sticks. <laughs> Not sticks to my finger, which it's doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm having that in my hair, to be honest. Just trying to get this glue to... Yeah, I just need a wee bit more on it. Come on. It's weird, isn't it? Because you think it's not dry and it's not dry, and all of a sudden, it it drowns. Yeah, it goes. Yeah. Okay. It's just a bit of. Uh... Whew. A bit of a uh, bit more detail to add, and to yeah. Will you stick? We stick. Yeah, stick in right. Don't touch. So let me just go back, back to the chat a little bit. David Bassett says you might be able to pick one up, possibly um, part built from the infamous auction site, Dave. Yeah, I might be able to. And then David Bassett says, what hand splinters <laughs> were, a, were a problem during the Blitz, Dave? Yes. Yeah, there definitely was. So somewhere I've actually got a picture of, um, of me sat on some spell seats. Um, in a OWB bus uh, that I used to run, uh, unbelievably so, uh, but it was so rotten, it, I could do nothing with it. So unfortunately, I went to a friend uh, who was a local joiner. He said he was going to do it up, but he could do nothing with it neither because it was just beyond everything. So, but yeah, somewhere I've got a, a picture of me sat on the rear seats of... Um, I think it was KXV five six two, off uh, off top of my head. Yeah, um, it, it actually wasn't an OWB. It was actually an an OB, um, but it was built the same as an OWB. All the bodywork was just the same, except it was built just after the war, nineteen forty six, I believe. Uh, Bedford uh, OB uh, with the OWB bodywork uh, built by Joe Paul. So, and um, it used to belong to uh, Phillips of Shipton Thorpe in East Yorkshire. And I, I actually saved it uh, from scrap. Uh, but like a fool, um, I was too far, far too late. And it was far, far too rotten to do anything with. So, uh, sadly let it go and I do believe the guy who bought it off me he, he actually scrapped it as well because he couldn't do anything with it so
yeah, just a little uh, unknown fact that uh, we actually had one of those. Okay, that's that. So let's have a look at this drop arm now. I could get this drop arm to go in uh, spinning round on me. Tweezers. Don't spin round, Ethel. Go on there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see where it goes. Okay, no problem. So the problem's going to be getting the glue where it needs to go on there. I'm getting the glue where it needs to go on there. And then marrying the two together. Okay, quickly. So, like that. Come on. Can I let go yet? Possibly, maybe not. Oh, let go too early. Come on. Goodness me, that is very, very turny. Oh. Pop it on with my finger. Fingernail. Dry, please dry, please dry. Yes. Okay. That's that done. So I've got the drop steering arm done. Yes, it's a bit of a problem, is that, uh, Alex? But yeah, we've got it done. The drop steering arm. Yep, yeah, it's in there nicely as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What do we do now then? give it a second to dry is there anything else we can do before we go for the wheels okay uh, a little confusing on step five uh Holix. i don't know whether you've noticed but um it says step five front wheel drive rear wheel drive front wheel drive rear wheel drive so um there was not front wheel drive there was uh, just rear wheel drive off the back uh, differential so um, probably um, somebody's thought it was a four wheel drive one but no it's it's only a two wheel drive one with the with the rear back axle and um, yeah that's uh, yeah I can go on to there so yeah I can actually go for putting the wheels on the chassis so what I'm going to do next before I do that, though, I'm actually going to catch up with my paintwork and um, do a bit of the paint uh, before I go any further with the black. Yeah. So a little bit of the um, paper. I don't know whether anybody's noticed or not, but. <laughs> My, my white surface is getting steadily wet as, a, as we're progressing week by week. And that's because I just keep spilling paint on it or, you know, <laughs> there's all sorts of things going. So that's why I've just ripped off a little, little bit of paper. And, but um, they do say that a, a messy white bench is a good white bench. Oh, all is good. Let's have this stared up then. So I'm using black. I'm using, um, I believe it's X1. Yeah, Tamiya Black X1, which is a gloss black. And um, I always stare them with coffee starers, these coffee starers. 
and um, you need to really go and give them a right good stirring, get down to the bottom and everything. And you'll find that the glass jar that the, they're in is a little bit bulbous in the middle. So you need to get your stir around the outside of that and give it a really, really, really good stir. And um, uh, stirs all the dries up from the bottom of the tin and everything and uh, mixes all the colour up nicely so you get a consistent colour right throughout so so uh, Peter Webster says uh, what are you looking for Dave um, uh, M M H I think the, yeah they're called M H that's E M H A R uh, Bedford, but it's got to be a long wheelbase one. So I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I'll find one somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty as as um, David uh, David said, I'll find one on um, that um, internet auction site thing. So it's got to be a uh, long wheelbase, and then I can um, I can then. This one's a short wheelbase, so it'll be you know quite a bit longer. And uh, I don't know, I think I'll build the body out of plastic card, thin thin plastic card, and what have you. And uh, I think the windows might prove a little bit of a problem, but I I'm pretty sure if I visited my um, model shop, they'd be able to supply me with you know some really good. Um, plastic for the windows uh, have you turned your oh you've turned your mic off Alex that's why I can't hear you oh sorry no I, I haven't said anything anyway oh sorry I, I thought you was um, talking to me and I thought goodness me he's got his mic turned off so right let's have a go at this black then if we can uh, let's have a slap of my old tea first I'm having a bit of an issue. You've got a bit of an issue. What's what's the matter? It's not sticking this one anymore because it came off. But I put a bit of um, liquid chrome on the terminals. Oh yeah, and it's lifted it off like a piece of solder. <laughs> yeah. So I've just had to cut the. You just had to cut the the end of the wire back. Okay. To give it a fresh a fresh go, yeah. A fresh bit to stick to. Yeah. <laughs> David Bassett does stare as dirt cost a lot. <laughs> well you can get them from pretty much anywhere um morrison's and places like that and yeah mcdonald's and so yeah all them other good places that sell cups of coffee and what have you so i'm just going to touch up And get them out of the way before I, before I put the wheels on, I think. Come on. Yeah. Oh, D, I've just seen, yeah, my internet's dropping again. Yeah, it's. I did notice it was, it's a bit I'll, funny, isn't it? It's, I'll sort it in a second. It only takes a couple of seconds. I think it's because yeah. I've got these extender things, these uh, Ethernet plugs. I just have to flick them on and off quick, and then it, it seems to fix it. Yeah. Ours is, is a, you know, pretty much the same. Right. So, if I'm going a bit quiet, folks, I'm sorry about that, but I'm just trying to get this, get a bit of paint on before, and then it can be drying, and then I can get the wheels on and show you what it looks like with the wheels on. 
goodness mate. <laughs> so yeah, I was out in the garage today trying to um, catch up with a bit of spraying and it was just so difficult because there was no air in the garage except very very cold there and um it wasn't good having the door shut um and not letting the gases escape from the from the um from the spray so i wouldn't um i wouldn't uh, wish that on anybody so if you are spraying at all make sure there is plenty and i mean plenty of fresh air running around uh, because uh, you could soon get yourself into into problems if you can't breathe at all and um, the fumes you know send you a little bit high so and it's not good it, there is a warning on the tin that it can actually kill you so yeah please be careful folks if you're going to be doing sprain models and uh, take heed of all the warnings etc and uh, hopefully you'll be modeling safe well i just need that to dry in fact i think i came in from the garage and i said to chris oh, i give up today i can't and there's no way i could do that in this in the weather and you know so she says no don't um don't f force it like if it's not going to go right today uh. Oh, come on. I think my breathing is a bit funny now. <laughs> come on. That's it. You got it to sit right now, Horlicks? Uh Yeah, I'm back. Sorry, I had to reset the thing. Yeah, um, I think yeah. so. Jolly good. Just going to give it another dab. Uh, spin that over. Come on. So I don't know if that really adds to it or not. Do you like the look of that? Hang on. I have to put my glasses down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah I think it adds to it a lot. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, well, it, give, it tells you what it is, doesn't it? It's, it must be the battery because it's got a red and a black lead. Yeah. I think it sure does, yeah. I mean, I'm hoping there's nothing going through that hole. I didn't even look at that, actually. Yeah, I, I don't think there is, but unless it's, you know, to do with the wings or the cab or something, but I can't think of anything else that would go there, would it? No, I can't see anything on the model. Uh, no, I don't think it is. So the question yeah. is, do I put the uh -huh. black wire on the outside of the chassis or run it under with the other one and stick it on the inside? Uh, us? <laughs> I would guess, I'm guessing normally it would be on the inside in a vehicle. It wouldn't be shut. It wouldn't be on display, would it? No, it would be on the inside. Yeah, definitely on the inside, um, and tucked away as much as possible. But you know, if you was to look underneath, you'd probably see it. But right, I think. I've got them sorted now. It's just uh, 
give them a nice shiny coat there and that oh. okay oh, i wish i had some of that pain this um yeah, this quite. um got it yeah it's just I'm using the, the I've painted this in Tamiya spray, but when you're touching it up, you can see that the the paint I'm using on that under the two nine one is a completely different colour. Yeah. I mean you can't really notice it from a distance, but Yeah. I think it'd be alright, yeah. Unless you really want to go for um this this tamia as as you say you might be able to notice a few bits right so i'm having to take my glasses off to actually see <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> the joys of getting old, eh? Oh, I think. I see there's a couple of bits there. I found a couple of bits that need touching up. Just on the spring. Yeah. Okay, I'm just on that. All right. Just on the spring. Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I've done that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think I managed with the drop am um, not too bad. Um, but I think it helped you saying that it was a bit of an issue. Yeah, so, I struggled with it, but and uh, I'll say it helped helped you saying that because obviously I was more aware of it. Don't want to overdo it. Stand that. This where it's missed. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on top of them for them to dry. Ah, before I get cramp in my hand. Ah. Right. So, let's put that back on. And I'm going to just disappear for a second while I get some water. Okay. I'm just carefully threading, threading wires. And gluing them into place. I'm back. Whew. Yeah. So, yeah, the dog thought I was fetching him some water, but he's got a fresh bowl of water. <laughs> and that's the good thing about this paint is that you can just clean your brushes in water. So, uh, Right, so let's just do this and I'll have a, a quick look at the chat. There we are. Uh, 
goodness me, there's some chat coming, aren't there? So Stairs Costa, yeah, there. Uh, we, okay, so dates, yeah. And that went, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Splinters, yeah. <laughs> So um, Lee says I'm working with plastic card at the minute. So um, yeah, I've got I've got some plastic card. Um, the one that I got was from um, Obicraft. I think. So and it's, uh, so it's plastic card. But it's quite thick. I don't know if you can see the thickness. So it's just a bit too thick. To, so I'm going to have to go to my local. Uh, model shop and uh, see if they've got some thinner stuff because it's okay for doing something that's not panel work where panel work panel work wise uh, but if it's panel work it's far too thick so uh, but yeah framework it'll be all right for but so panel wise it's just a bit too thick so but yeah it's a long time since i've played with the uh, with the uh, plastic card in fact they call it white polystyrene yeah white polystyrene and it's uh, 0 040 7.6 by 11 whatever that means yeah it's all in its its measurements uh, yeah basically just it's a card of plastic whoops get back on there don't fall off uh, yeah it's just a card of plastic that you can cut and shape and glue and what have you. Plastic card. We used to use a special glue years ago for plastic card and I can't remember what they called it neither. So, yeah. So, yeah, oh, we've done the Holix uh, screen freezing, haven't we, at the minute? Yeah, we've done that one. Uh, yes, Dave. I have a few courtesy of the golden arches. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so, Peter, was the is it the one twenty fourth scale old old, old drop, drop side type kit, Dave? Yes, yeah. It's uh, either one. There's two uh, long wheelbase ones. Uh, one's a tanker and one's a drop side, I believe. So. In fact, they're on the box, but I can't show you the box. I don't think. Uh, no, I can't show you the lid of the box because I'm storing bits in it over there at the second. Um, so at least says, looks good, Horlex. And um, uh, Peter Webster says, we don't have uh, fresh air in the black country. Laughing out loud. <laughs> no. Um, no. No. Um, is that down to the traffic perhaps the amount of traffic that's there i'm guessing that it's not down to the um the industrialization as it was um and and probably the reason why they called it the black country was because of the coal and everything else that came out the ground was it and uh yeah um yeah all the factories are up that way were a bit like they were at manchester where weren't they and so yeah there was very heavily industrialized areas so uh lee says i work with it all the time on my builds yeah it's good isn't it it's um it's good but that bit i got from that place that i mentioned earlier it, it, it was quite expensive so in fact i had a duck fit when i got to the till and i actually put a couple of sheets back because i actually got went to go get a, um, three or four sheets and I thought oh, I'll get enough in not seeing what the price was and then goodness me I <laughs> got to the till oh I don't want them at that price hmm. I don't think I've ever worked with it no it's uh, yeah it's pretty good so Daft DMC says, I think it was to do with the chimney smoke. Yeah, um, yeah, the black country, um, the curl and everything. 
Yep, industrialization of of the of the uh, well, not the modern era, but um, yeah, industrialization of England. What am I going for now? I'm just waiting for this to dry, folks, and then I'm going to put these wheels on. So I know I'm chuntering to myself a little bit. While I'm doing that, though, I can cut out some bits. So I can cut out, uh, if we ignore the cab and the doors and the glass and everything, and I turn the page and we ignore the wings, I can actually cut out these black, uh, these back bits for the um, chassis rails that the body sits on. So because I've sprayed these today with um, the grey primer. And it was the only bits that actually... The, <laughs> Well, I was able to able to spray them with grey primer, but um, goodness me, it did take some some doing. Sort of r rushing out, spraying them, and rushing back in again, and trying not to get dust on them or anything. And mm. yeah, it's uh, quite um, difficult. Uh, chop that one off there, and that's going to be a little bit. So yeah, one B, was it twenty five? That's H H twenty three H eight and H twenty four. That's what I want there, I think. Goodness me, there's that many clips on them, aren't they? There's one up there somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere down there. I thought, can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that one. So then I want that one as well. But when these go on, these can be painted black as well, the same way as I've painted the other bits. I'm painting the uh, bits that are grey, but the first coat always doesn't go on properly. So I'm just literally lashing it on and then roughly and then when yeah it, when it's that, uh, i was going to say that's sometimes the best the best way you know to get plenty on like so, uh, i don't think i need that until a bit later on so let's put that up on that side um just let me show you all the cab so the cab's been gray gray primer today so there's the there's the cab in its grey primer. So it, uh, there's only this little bit here where I held, I held on to it with my pliers because we just held on to it like that with my pliers. So that little bit back there. But the rest of it's not come up too bad. And then I grey primered the back as well. So I've done inside uh, round uh, all the sides of the back and uh, with some gray primer which you can tell it's you know dusty gray and um, i even did a little bit underneath as well but uh, underneath i'll just get um blasted with some um some maybe some black i don't know yet before i put the top coat color on so i know the the outside panels are cream cream white uh, yeah, and then I'm undecided what to do with the flooring as well because the flooring on here is um, yeah, it's the uh, aluminium checker plate flooring. But I don't know whether you can see that or not, but uh, you might be able to. So the aluminium checker plate flooring that's uh, on here where the crane goes and uh, under the box here and then the place for the spare wheel etc just notice there's a hair on it as well it's a hair not a rabbit <laughs> so yeah the, and uh, the disaster bits that i had done today were the bonnet sides and uh, the doors they didn't come up very well at all with the uh, gray primer in fact the doors and the bonnet sides will have to be sanded down uh, 
and we've got pretty much everything oh, and the bonnet top I don't know you can see there's just some marks there on the bonnet top so that didn't come out very good and uh, with the grey primer so they'll have to be rubbed down one two three four five bits that'll have to be rubbed down again uh, the dashboard can be rubbed down and uh, but everything else came out all right on that sprue with the grey primer weird didn't it the sort of what i had you know it was just some of it came out all right yeah so some of the bits uh, come out all right and yet some of the other bits don't don't they so very strange uh indeed harlux isn't it very yeah. strange uh, i'm gonna take my my file and start filing some of these bits on here and then i can just these little screw bits and uh, then i can get them something like for adding to the chassis so i also made a start today on um on the um root master the up and top root master um bit that uh, needs uh, painting uh, uh, over the, where the cab is so you can tell where i held it with my pliers the fact that you don't see this little bit down here so uh, around here is going to be um cream and then maroon and uh, around the uh, driver's compartment inside the cab will be matte black and then when it comes out from the, the bonnet side the cab side that'll be uh, cream and that going around the front it'll be cream and then uh, down below it'll be maroon so that's uh, the start of um the underbonnet piece for the open top root master you'll notice on here that it's um it's got the um destination number bland box on there as well which was already on so i just sprayed around it and uh, the gray primer uh it's got the um it's got the um the um yeah hinges on for the bonnet so i left them two bits on because i know that they're okay there um I, I roughly did the back part even though you don't see the back part i've also scarred ready for a um ready for a, a, a side light in here as well for the uh for the road master because i'm going to put an added side light in there so but yeah at least i got a start on something and um I have done a lot more to the open top rope master and you will be seeing this on sunday i believe so sunday man sunday night stream at eight o'clock all being well and um i'll show you what other bits i've been doing and we'll probably do a few more bits and pieces to it on sunday evening so, Into a just a little bit. Come on. So yeah, it's, um, painting certainly is a big problem at this time of year. You know, we haven't got a spray booth, and we haven't got um, you know proper spray equipment and all the rest of it. I don't think I can actually use a um, you know a spray booth and all that. I'm, I'm quite happy because I'm used to doing it with uh, the spray cans um, once the conditions are right for that um, and I think it's I went on about it before when I did the first two root masters so the conditions have definitely got to be right for you to get a really good finish so it's worthwhile just taking your time extra time on um, getting the conditions right if you know what i mean rather than trying to spoil the ship for an april worth of time one two three And 
just take these bears off here and then I'll be right. And what is it? The bears are always right. That's what the sat nav tells me. <laughs> that was supposed to be a joke. So bear I know. Right? Bear right? Deep in the concentration trying to get this wire stuck to the chassis has it been a pen yeah on there, i think yeah just gently yeah 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 Yep, yep. Okay, over there, I've got some ejector pin marks there somewhere. On that one. Okay. Well, it's glued my tweezers sharp, but it hasn't. It's glued your tweezers. <laughs> So I need someone with another hand to put some spray some super glue activator on it. Yeah, just to make it go off. So, um, Peter Webster says, yeah, Darth, the smoke and smog from all the industries in the area. Yeah, that's, yeah, I thought it was. So, and Peter Webster says it's gone uh, very expensive, Dave, cheaper on land. Yeah, um, it's something I always forget to look for on on land is uh, then things <sighs> christine likes to likes to visit um that uh, hobby uh, shop that i mentioned and um <sighs> I, i'd like wandering around there too and uh, and i think i've learned that you know uh, things are a little bit uh, cheaper elsewhere if you know what i mean better value shall we say elsewhere sometimes uh, on just depends on what you're what you're getting it's good like that on that way that on that way so they're going obviously that way and that one goes that way and then that one goes across the back okay double check yep 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 okay Let's have a look on here and see where we can place these. So these have got to place in there. So where the tank is, yeah. And there, at the back there, okay. Yeah, these are risers. So what it means with this is that it makes the body rise over the chassis uh, where the um, differential is and the rear suspension. It's like a body riser and it'll make the body higher so, so it goes over the rear differential and the rear wheels so you don't have to have so much of a cutout for your rear wheels um so on this bed here it's a flat bed there you see but inside there it's obviously your wheels can go inside there so you have to have a body riser under here to lift this body up so it gives room underneath for the wheels and the suspension so that's what we're building at the moment at the minute is these body risers <clears throat> so i'm just going to uh, loosely fit these and then see how they go because uh, that because uh, a lovely friend of ours lindsay lindsay bill says um the thing is found more than anything else is that if you dry fit things um uh, you get a better you advise that you dry fit and you get a better fit almost than just going ahead and sticking something in which is worked out absolutely to repair up to now um, and, and brilliant uh, advice it really has worked as that so thank you lindsay if you're watching lindsay builds and uh, yeah pop along to lindsay's channel as well if you've got time and um, see what Lindsay is up to with his builds. He's doing all sorts of plastic model kits, dioramas, and all sorts. And uh, 
it's built all these all four of these uh, bedfords so and the other channel i was thinking about about these bedfords was uh showtime studios so a guy guy across there in america um he's built um a, a few of these i think it is and I th the tanker goodness me yeah the tanker is he's built the tanker and it looks absolutely fantastic he's weathered it all he's, so he's, he's painted the chassis like rusty brown and then painted on top of the chassis some green but before he did that I spread some salt on it and let it all set and everything and then painted it green and let that all set and then he's been scraping just little corners of it here there and everywhere scraping the salt off and um, producing the brown paint underneath the green which makes it look like rust and um, goodness me has put some detail into that it looks absolutely fantastic it really does so yeah that's showtime studios so that's another one of uh, the guys that's building one of th these um bedford wagons showtime studios and uh, Lindsay's builds okay what we're doing time wise, Alex? Uh, half past eight. Is that what time is? Goodness me. Time goes when you're having fun. Oh, come on. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit more pro problematic than that side. That one fits in there pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. I think. Yep, there, and then there. Yep. Trying not to. Oh, the has gone off, I think. Thank goodness. If I stand up there. Oh, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Good. Yeah, I think it's going to need a little. Maybe a thinner one than this one. Yeah, maybe. Not generally. Terminals now with some silver. Uh huh. Okay, let's try that now. And I've managed to get the. Oops wire stuck onto the chassis which i'm going to have to get a paintbrush in there at some point when it's yeah dry. okay um, so i need to get there one there go on sit in there please no one can sit in there just like that. Just like that. Yeah, that's all there you go. I pick up some black paint then. Oh, on my finger before. There you go in there. And then that bit goes in the back. Which way? I'll go that way. Think. It goes there, the way. Wouldn't have the ejector pin marks outside, would it? I don't think so. No, I see where it goes. Yeah. So it's going to go sit in there and then sit in there. Okay, and then the body's just going to sit on it. Okay. So that's a test fit. It looks like it's fitting all right. Yeah. So I suppose I have to go for a, a definite fit and then paint it. Um, just. Uh, See if you can balance on there for a minute. Something in my eye again. <sighs> I can 
Do, 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 do. Okay. I drink my tea. Okay, we'll go on to my soft drink. Right. Ah. Okay, so um yeah, David Bassett says they're both coming along nicely, Holex and DS. And um thank you very much for that, David. Yeah, they're Hi. coming along. Um by no means are we in any rush or anything. And uh, we just want to try and get them, you know, as good as we can, really. I mean there's the risers, and then the body will actually sit over the risers. And uh, I'd imagine there'd be something. Oh, there is. There's a scuttle for the cab to sit on as well. Gillian uh, uh, Dot says, uh, both coming along nicely, and a big thumbs up uh, to both of you. Thank you, Gillian. Thanks, Gillian. And, uh, and Lee says, uh, they're both coming along really well. Thumbs up. Thank you, Malay. Yeah, they're um, I suppose I'm a bit nervous more than ever else. And I'm putting off putting these wheels on as long as possible. So I shouldn't be so nervous. Yeah, I'm a bit like that. I mean I'm gonna get on to them shortly, I think. Because it's getting awkward now to stand this up i want it to stand on its own wheels yeah I'm, I'm the same yeah so i'm just actually looking to see i mean yeah they've got the the cab details to do on the cab the wings which i haven't uh spread yet and um, but yeah everything else has got the wheels on the chassis all the time you build the cab up the scuttle and everything separately so yeah that's okay so uh, what I might do is not, um, I'll, I'll put the wheels on, but like if I get the wings painted, I don't think I'm going to put them on yet until the cab scuttle is on, uh, until everything lands up with the cab scuttle and the back body and everything, uh, because, oops, not the times I've done that tonight, knocked it off then. So, yeah, you need to line everything up. And I'm going to be taking Lindsay's advice on that one. So, but for now, I'm going to put these, I'm going to stick these uh, body bearers on, these risers. I'm going to take it off these paint pots as well, because it doesn't like sitting on them. <laughs> hmm. right. Okay, let's have a look. So that one goes to that side. And... Uh, yeah, we should clip down onto the chassis. That one goes this side. And that clicks down into the chassis this side. Whoops. Come on. I don't want to stand up, so it's one at a time, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, where will the gluing points be? They'll be on them tabs on the insides. There as well, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, just have a look on the instructions. Yeah, they go down to the chassis there. So yeah, so that will go down to that bit of chassis. That one will go down to that bit of chassis. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look. And see what contact area I've got. The contact area in there. No, not quite. It's a bit deceiving, is that? Yeah, so it'll have to be top of the chassis then. Okay. Right, so I may need some fresh glue. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need some fresh glue, I think. Oh, no. Okay. It's okay. So 
Let me talk to Chessy Harry there. Yeah, definitely going to need some fresh glue. Talk to the chassis area there. In the hull as well. And right at the back. Very close to the back, somewhere there. Okay. So let's try popping that one in. And try keeping it nice and straight. Go to the chassis, please. Oh, I didn't like going down to the chassis. Come on, no, I'm just gonna have to have some fresh glue in there, I think. Yeah, okay, so let's put the inside and the inside of there. Okay, okay. okay. Hmm. What's that? To install that again, we're going very well. Oh, goodness me, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do it on that again, do we? And here you are. Give that a second. So Lee says I'm working with super glow at the minute, and uh, yeah, the glow's thinned up. Yeah, it's well, it's yeah dried up. Yeah, and uh, Peter Webster says uh, just sub to Lindsay's channel. Thank you ever so much for that, Peter. Yeah, Lindsay, Lindsay builds, uh, I believe the column, and um, the other one's Showtime Studios. And uh, yeah, it's very, very, very good uh, model builders. Very good indeed. So I'm going to just put a bit of glue on there. And a bit of glue on this side. And get this one glued. Come on. Get in the hole. Push, push. There we are. Straighten that up a little. Yep. Yeah. Yes, Showtime Studios. There's some very helpful tips on weathering and such like, which I did like. Oh, seem to have lost Horlix. Uh, I think we've still got the stream. I hope so. So I'll have to wait for him coming back in. Can you still hear me, everybody? I uh, hope you can. I hope I'm still live. So I think we've lost Alex. Unless I've gone. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no, I think I'm still there because I can see it on the other screen. So, yeah. Horlix, if you're out there in internet land, you've gone off, so you'll have to come back to the to the stream. It's uh, kicked you out. It has. Of the odd internet. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just going to check this back piece on here. Just to make sure that I don't need it anywhere else. Destructions, destructions. Where are the destructions for it? So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think it actually matters. 
which way that goes. Yeah, it's okay. Let's just have a look inside the back there. Yeah, no, it's not wanting in there, so that's okay. So I'm going to put them in there. So it looks like I'm by myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm by myself at the minute, uh, guys. So I'm sure Harlix will be back in a minute. Just see if this is stuck. Just give it another second or two. Just um, don't trust that first lot of glue that I put on. Just put some in there. And just at the back there. There we are. And in there, out the way. And in that joint there. There we go. Hopefully that'll stay there. Oops. As I'm blowing it, it's um, it's blowing me thing all over the place. Here it comes. Wow! All right, kicked you out, did it? Yeah, internet went off. Yeah, so and we thought that would, that happened, but uh, we haven't been talking about you, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's what right. yeah, he says. No, we've. Um, I just looked up and I was talking to myself, and you'd gone. Yeah. <laughs> there we well, then. Put that in. Where am I at now? I just need to glue the red cable in. I think mm -hmm. I'm going to do the rails. Okay. I'm just um, going to try and place this in to the end of the rails. I've got a poorly item out. In there, just so it sits in there. Okay, let's have a look at you well. Well, we can. Oh, the end of the rails coming straight out. So, they look quite square. To get some eye ointment next week. So I need a little tad taken off that bit there. I can see where it's just a little bit. So it's just a little bit. And just a little bit. So it's actually got a little bit of flash on it. Okay. It's getting my fingers to work as well. So you know what doesn't actually help, I think. Well, Oops. I heard that next door. Because obviously the landlord owns the next door as well. Yeah. They've got no internet for 20 days because there was a problem. Oh my goodness me, 20 days. And what I realised is that the landlord's given them my Wi Fi info. So all next door, next house, next door, all on our internet as well. Yeah, oh, no. That's not good, really. So that could be why it's dropping out. Yeah. Right, there you go. I've got a wire on the back of the alternator. Oh yes, indeed. Very good. Yeah, it's that's that's better. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you know what I mean. But no, I'm really happy with that. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it looks great. So more yeah. realistic, yeah. And then yeah, the black goes to the. The chassis well just in there you probably won't see it behind the red wire just stuck just in there the yeah yeah how good is that yeah so i so noticed that you've got your fuel filler cap on yeah 
Yeah, I haven't got man on yet. And um I'm gonna paint the end silver, I think. So I haven't done the very end. Yeah, it tells you to put them in when you put the um wings on, doesn't it? In step seven. I think it is, yeah. If you'll H nineteen, won't it? Mm. Yeah. That's the one. So yeah. I'm just gonna do the so these have got um, two tabs underneath and one tab on the top of them. So don't cut the tabs off that you need for putting into the chassis. If if that gives you any sense, gives you any help. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I've still got a little bit to take off there, I think. Yeah, there's two tabs on the bottom there. Yeah. And then there's one at the top there. Yeah. So I've got three on mine. Yeah, you've got two on the bottom and one on the top. Is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Shaving about half a mil off it. That's it as well. Okay, <laughs> so, so let's uh, go for this in fine style then, shall we? Stand it up again. Hopefully it'll pop in there nicely. Pop. Oh, nearly glued my fingers again. Oh no. Nearly did. So that goes. Oh, I did. I have done. I have glued my fingers. Sorry, right, I've unstuck them. <laughs> um, H A, which is this bit. Come on, stick up there. Please. It's Saturday today, isn't it? Yeah, Saturday. It is, yeah. Goodness me. All day. <laughs> yeah. Saturday, all day. Right, okay. Well, I've got to do that trick again that we always do, and that's file off the super glue. I won't show you that because it's a bit savage. But, uh, file off the super glue off your finger now, off your fingers. So that only do that if you've got hard fingers, folks, because uh, it can hurt. Okay. That'll do. Right. Okay, so I've got that in there. And in there, pretty sure that's where she's going to stay, right? So, I think what I need to do actually now is got them rails on. I'm going to backtrack a little bit and find my um, filler cap because that needed to go on before this really these rails but i can still get that on all right so i'm going to find the filler cap put the filler cap on and then go back to do some more painting so um <sighs> see if i can find the filler cap oh dear <sighs> okay so is the filler cap 19 h19 yes 
It is. It's 19. It's there. It's the art filler cap. Screw cutters. So we're roughly at the same spot really, apart from you've got some body weight done. You've got all your body weight done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So whoops. That looks about right, I think. And the other side. In the chat, we've got uh, yes, a sound uh, laughing out loud, Dave. I hear you, and that's all because all because you you went off. So uh, I, I looked up and I thought I saw myself on there, and I thought, oh my goodness me, has the stream gone? <laughs> hmm. So I relied on the good people to tell me I was still alive. Of that. Right, let's see how see if that bit will go on there. Oh yeah, it's got a little little wiggle on there. So yeah. Again, I need to glue it on. Actually. I just did. Screw out of there. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to go on that there. Yeah, do well. Right here. So get it to sit square that does it not sit square actually sits like that a little bit forward Right. Okay. Right. So I need to go on painting now. Get some black painted, and then I can put the wheels on once the paint's dried. Do I need to glue anything else right now? Let's have a look. Let's go back on the instructions a bit. The instructions. No, I can't do nothing with the cab yet because I'm not painted. Done the. Um, I've done the fuel tank and I've done the bearers and I've done the mat running boards and I've done the steering bars and we've got to the point where we could put the wheels on. I haven't done anything with the cab, so the step section six to do. Section seven I haven't done with the wings, but I've put the fuel filler cap on. Um I've put them sads on there, the chassis rails. So, yes, I think the only thing I can do now is go to um, the black paint, paint the black, and then I can pop the wheels on. Hopefully, what is it, nine o'clock? Hopefully, I can get them that done before. Okay, so let's go back to my black paint rather quickly and see what we can do. Same here, let me go back to black. Back to black. There's a song there, isn't there? Back to black. Yeah. Amy, Amy White House, Amy Good House. What did they call her? Amy White House. <laughs> Something like that. 
Oh, fed to, uh, you are now. Fed to black, was it? Fade. Back to black, fed to black, something like that, was it? Oh, we've got Lin. I don't know if you've mentioned Lindsay's builds as him. Oh, uh, Lindsay. Yeah, I, I've been mentioning you, Lindsay, um, on on the uh, chat and everything. And I've asked a couple of people to go uh, check out your channel because uh, I've said that you've been doing this this Bedford model. So yeah, thanks for uh, being in the chat and everything. And as I say, we've tried to. You know, coax a few people over there because you are obviously doing some interesting builds as well. So, yeah, are you all right, Lindsay? Are you are you okay? I hope hopefully you are. And uh, hopefully you've seen a bit of progress with us as well because we're we're sort of going forward a back a, a little bit and then back a little bit and you know and taking your advice as well and trying and testing everything and popping it on and. Um, before we're actually gluing it so yeah we're up to the stage where well i'm up to the stage where the chassis is done uh, pretty much uh, um, ready for the wheels so we're just putting this body bit on here this riser and um and then um once we've got these this these bits painted um we can have the wheels on once the uh, once it dries so yeah enjoy I was just saying that was we've had a, bad, a bit of bad luck this evening with the, the internet. The internet's been uh, playing up a little bit, but it does nearly on everybody's channel, doesn't it? At some point, yeah. So it's good when it works, but. Yeah, it's good when it works. Um, just a devil when it doesn't work. <laughs> and as you say, Horlex, it doesn't like uh, it likes a couple of coats of black at least, does this grey, doesn't it? Yeah. And it would be nice if we could spray it, but. I think if we get a nice thick coat on it'll be okay. I can always pop another coat on anyway. So I've just been doing uh finished I don't know if you saw it Lindsay. I've just been modding my battery. Um so I've put some wires through glued them into place and then just run them underneath the chassis rail there one into the starter motor the red and then i've uh, glued the black uh, cable on the inside of the chassis rail just to give it a bit of a uh, bit more detail i guess so i'm happy with the way that's come out yeah i think that will look wonderful So Lindsay says, yeah, I'm okay, thank you. No, you're welcome. And uh, Lindsay says, the bills are coming along nicely. You're doing, nicely you're doing, guys. Thank you, thank you, uh, Lindsay. Thank you. And, uh, Lee says, hi, Lindsay. Yeah, I was just uh, saying that it's been absolutely freezing cold here today. It's been, um, it's been uh, freezing fog all day long. And uh, I was in a bit of a tizwas early because I wanted to do some painting and spray painting. And obviously I couldn't because I don't have a spray booth or anything. And... Um, 
yeah i could i could build one in my garage no problem but uh for the little bit of modeling that i do do i, I don't think it's worth it but um and I, I i generally use um rattle cans anyway as much as possible and and um you know i quite I quite like um the challenge of that uh, to try and get a, a reasonable finish uh, but today oh goodness me challenge goodness me it only was a challenge to try and get out in my garage and get something done with my other projects like but goodness me not not this time of year so cold in fact i said to chris i said uh, how long have you been out there she said about half an hour 25 minutes half an hour i said god i said i feel absolutely frozen I said i really am and uh she said, well, you haven't been out there that long. I said, I know. I said, I just, um, I said, I, I'm so cold that I ate. I know that sounds daft, but it's, it was true. Yes, coming along really nicely, really, really nicely. Yeah. Really, really enjoying this. Yeah. I'm kind of sort of sad, really, that, you know, um, we didn't get to keep any of our Bedfords that we had at one time, you know, because... Uh, I suppose things change, don't they, and what have you. I'm just touching up some bits. So you definitely do some more then, would you? Some more M H Bedford kits. Hundred and ten percent. You would, yeah. Okay. Yeah, really good, really good quality. I mean, you know, I had a few issues with some paint and and stuff, but I think that's my error. Um, you know, what with the cab, you know, I was saying like, well, clean fingers, yeah. I've done the decal but this cab i did the it was just i had to sand it back because it ran and it was reacting and all sorts was going on with it yeah but I'm glad you come along, Lindsay, tonight, because I was only thinking about your neck of the woods um, earlier today. Um, at one time, I used to own a Bedford Green Goddess fire engine. And, um, yeah, it was a long time ago, but um, I was a member of the um, Historic Commercial Vehicle Society. And... Um, we had a double decker bus or two and one year we decided to get rid of the double decker bus and buy a green goddess fire engine if we could find one and we actually found one uh fairly close to your neck of the woods uh royston that area and um we we brought it back it was actually owned by a, a guy who was a collector of um and uh, afx vehicles and such like and he had a massive collection and he had this this goddess and it was um he bought it from teesside airport 
it was a, a snow plow when when it had finished with the ministry it turned the turned it into a snow plow and uh, and then this guy brought it and he restored it and he restored it to an absolutely pristine condition but uh, he moved up north uh to richmond way up north and um he sort of i don't know left his didn't have time for all the rest of his collection so he decided to sell a few off and you know just move a few up north to where he was and what have you and uh, me and a friend we actually drove we actually drove my green goddess all the way back home down the uh a15 and uh by barn and lincoln and all that and uh across the umber bridge and what have you so without really knowing much about it we was a bit daft young and daft in them days but um goodness me yeah 45 miles an hour flat out but it was enjoyable and it's actually enjoyable earning the green goddess because it was so unusual for this area and not, not many people had owned one and um we used to get called by the fire brigade to go to all all the uh fire brigade open days and such like and uh, yeah we went everywhere with that so entered it into a few rallies uh with the fire service preservation group and won a few trophies with it because it was absolutely pristine it was really nice uh, and yes i was thinking about your neck of the woods the other day <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll go. go on i was gonna say i remember you telling me about the story about going over the bridge yeah with that yeah, to a fire service open day, yeah. Um, well, they said it wasn't a fire engine, didn't they? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we was rang up by the fire, um, the fire station at Scunthorpe. And they said, you know, can you bring your, your goddess across for our fire service uh, benevolent fund open day? So we said, yeah, no problem. Well, they said, well, we've got a concession with the Umber Bridge. If it's a fire engine, you'll get a cross for nothing. So we said, oh, good. Well, at that particular time, um, it was actually quite expensive to drive a biggish vehicle across there. So it was, it was a small incentive to go, uh, but we wanted to support the Fire Service Benevolent Fund anyway. So anyway, sure enough, we went across uh, the Humber Bridge and get, didn't get charged anything at all for taking the uh, goddess across the Humber Bridge. And then we we had a tour around the town, you know, with all the emerg other emergency vehicles that was involved in the show and everything. And, um, you know, the mayor and mayoress thanked us for going and all that. And, you know, there was able to raise uh quite a quite a big sum of money for the the fire service benevolent fund and a few more charities and then and anyway it came to going home and we had to go across back across the umber bridge again across and they said oh don't worry dave you'll be all right just uh, go across it's a fire engine and we've got as i say a concession just today though that you can actually go across for nothing so we started to tramp across the umber bridge thinking oh this is good first time we've ever been across the umber bridge twice for nothing and uh, anyway it didn't happen this was the stopped us you can't bring that across here that's not a fire engine <laughs> anyway to cut a long story short we had to pay <laughs> after a lot of effing and blinding and <laughs> <laughs> yeah after a lot of effing and blinding and what have you that um you know swearing me down that it wasn't a fire engine and um i was obviously saying well actually it is do you want me to take a hose out and just prove it to you <laughs> 
Do you want to get the ladders off the roof? <laughs> you know, like, Jamie, oh, did they have water on board? I suppose not. I didn't have water on board on that occasion, no. I would have got the hose out and drenched him. Yeah, if I'd have had, if I'd have had water on board on that occasion, I certainly would have been tempted to to um, <laughs> to drench him. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It looked like you were on fire. Oh yeah. You need putting out then, don't you? <laughs> so no, um, it was uh, just one of many. Um, funny sort of stories that we could tell you that we of our towns being out with a, a vintage vehicle uh, so yeah it was uh it was rather good raising money for the fire service benevolent fund but uh <laughs> certainly got the money out of me that day <laughs> bless them <laughs> Right, I am going to leave that at that, I think. I don't think I've missed any big bits. I can go back to it and give it another cut. Oh, it's a bit there. Just a bit. Come on. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we kept it for so long and then we sold it and... Um, I can't remember what we bought after that. I think we bought a, I think we bought actually a wrecker wagon similar to one the one we're doing now, uh, Harlex. Uh, but it was a Ford, a Ford Thames Trader. Hmm. Hmm. Very similar, chass uh, chariot body on it. it had Ford Ford D Thames Trader wrecker wagon. It used to belong to Hull Corporation Transport. In fact, I think it used to be called Nelly. Because they called it Nelly at Hull. And uh, it's still around as well. We sold it and it's gone to, um, do they call them Crouch? Couch? Or what do we call them? The, the, the recovery people? Yeah, it's gone there. So, and they have it in their collection. So, okay. Yeah, that's as far as I'm going to go with that, I think, until it dries. Let's stand it on some barrels. Come on, fingers. Ugh. Right, I'll have a look at the chat. I bet the chat's going mad. <laughs> Goodness me. So, right, let's get that in the water. So Dave McBill says, I'm going to say goodnight, guys. You're doing uh, a grand job on your bills. I'll catch you up tomorrow night. And uh, goodnight, everybody. So goodnight, Dave McBills. Thanks for joining. Goodnight, Dave. Hi. So Lindsay's bill says, hi, other peoples. And uh, Lee says, uh, looks nice kits to do. Yeah, they are fantastic kits to do, actually, Lee. They really are nice kits. So... Um, uh, Lee says, later Dave Mack, and uh, Lindsay's build says, uh, the nice but makes but makes you have arms like Popeye, yes, the devil, <laughs> goodness me, like you, yes, absolutely, yeah, and uh, it, yeah, definitely um, thinking about the green goddesses, um, even the, our Bristol uh, Lodecker was probably worse for steering, uh, um, the double decker bus 1966 it was so uh, nothing out loud and uh, yeah, be well looked after by them yeah yeah it certainly was so Yeah, PGW509 was the, was the uh, goddess that we had. And, oh, yeah, right. oh, oh, oh. 
goodness me, I'm so tired. I've got a stream to do tomorrow night as well, but on a totally different thing tomorrow night, I think. I'm just going to try and get this paintbrush something like, there we are. Right, I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to pop these wheels on. Uh, two back wheels, two front wheels. The job will be a good one. And uh, and then I think I'm going to call it night because I'm going to be going. Well, what will have been going? Two and a half hours. I don't can't remember when we started. When did we start? Was it seven? Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have been going two and a half hours by the time this is dry. I've got the cap of the filler cap to do. But I will do that on another day. It's just one of them things, isn't it? You, just, you get consumed. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. Really enjoyable. Well, I'll be at a stage where I can leave it. Um, I'll have to go back a section to here to five, putting the wheels on. I've done the um, steering drop arm, so and but I've done nothing with the cab except for giving it a, a spray of um, grey primer. I've done nothing with the back apart from giving it a spray of grey primer. Um, the bonnet sides and top and doors I'm going to have to. Um, sand off and re-spray uh, with primer and then the bonnet uh, uh, sorry the bonnet front and the the um, wings they're going to need spray in black so I want to spray them black to make a nicer finish if I can Oh dear, yeah. God, Bennett, I can't believe how tired I am. God damn me. Any more yawning and I'll be asleep, won't I? <laughs> I'm trying to uh, be as quick as I can so I can. No, you're all right because I'm waiting for this to dry so I can get the get the wheels on. I'm pretty sure that they'll fit. Um, and I don't think I need to do anything else wheel-wise. So I'm just looking. Yeah, I can. I'm pretty sure I can get the wheels on. Yeah, I am. I am sure. Jolly good show, chaps. Just give it a few minutes. So, uh, Lindsay says, uh, I would have looked in earlier, but I do a live feed on a Saturday night in my uh, model Facebook group. Right, okay. Um, we too have um, model Facebook groups. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of that, Lindsay, but uh, yeah, we'd like to join your, your model Facebook group if we could. Um, if you can put a link in the chat here, then um, obviously we'll try and join if we can. Um, our links or our Facebook groups are um, mostly on, uh, if I do a banner, um, I've got a banner here with them all on. So uh, on the ticker tape there, we've got all the, Facebook groups that we be, that we belong to, uh, that we um, that we either run or we're uh, involved in. So yeah, um, you you're welcome to join any of them at any time you like, uh, Lindsay. That um, one's not the right one though. That yeah, the Northern the, Model Builders has changed. Yeah, the Northern Model Builders has changed. Yeah, so. Uh, but I think the others are still there. I think they are. Yeah. Let me just yeah, interfere a minute. Okay. I'll edit that. 
Okay, I'll let you. I'll let you put it back on when you've. I'll put it back on. Yeah, one second. When you've when you've done, yeah. Just let me take this comment off of Lindsay's. There we go. So, yeah, we um we we belong to a lot of Facebook groups, and and obviously, you know, we. We love our Facebook groups a lot. We've got model Facebook groups and we've got um, part work Facebook groups. So um, there's a bit of everything for everybody on, on, on one or two of them. So, and the community is lovely. You know, we, we obviously know one another and, uh, and what have you. And uh, th there's uh, some from uh, abroad as well that's joined us on the Facebook groups so a few guys from over over in America and uh, Canada and what have you over the pond there they've joined us on uh, some of the Facebook groups and obviously they're all modeling as well and it's it's just quite interesting to see what everybody's up to you know mm. what everybody's doing and um, you'd be surprised how many people are doing like the same thing. Oh, you've popped it back on, have you, Harlex? Yeah, oh, jolly good, thank you. So, yeah, um, yeah, we, um, we have, um, live. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is live. This is Saturday night, twenty-five past nine, uh, uh, here in England. So, um, yeah, we have lives and, and non-lives as well that we do. So, and hopefully, there's a bit of everything for everybody. So, and um, out there's, there's me, Jody, Dave, uh, Daniel's Universe, um, Harlex here and uh a, a few others that are into um kit building and um so um not that i've been at it that long actually so but um yeah. Uh, um but yeah we we were into our kit building and so we want to um there's several things we want to do kit wise now i've got the hk lancaster and um the the dan buster one and I want to build build a massive diorama coffee table uh, with it in, and um, I'm going to have a diorama of the Lancaster in the table in the coffee table glass glass topped coffee table with it all in. And I've, so far, I've built the um, goodness me, I've built the David Brown tra tug tractor. I've built the um, yeah the yeah. Goodness me, can't think now. The bomb trolley with the upkeep bomb on it, and I've built the um, the uh, Austin Tilly. <clears throat> but I've got the crew, and I've got um, other things that I obviously want to build. I've got the Bedford QL uh, refueler, and um, and then I'll be I'll be setting it in this coffee table, and it'll obviously be you know a meter a meter uh, wide and a meter length and um i'll be setting it all in the coffee table with the diorama of it sat on a runway uh, with all the vehicles and the crew and everything around and you know maybe a few small bushes and um the idea uh, did pass over my head that i could have all the four propellers spinning on the on the lank um with uh, putting uh, motorized motors in there's, there's a way of doing that which i've seen on on the internet so that would be nice as well if we could do that and then a few lights and you know a few uh, a few things going off in there and um yeah so that's that's the ultimate goal i suppose for for that bit of my modeling and uh, i want to get back into um into building that scene uh, uh, but it's going to take me obviously a long time to do in the meantime i've got there are four of these to do so obviously this is the first one and then i'm thinking about scratch building a bedford owb uh, with a long wheelbase one and um 
and I think that's about it for model wise, isn't it? That, that I've got model wise. I've got a Spitfire 135 scale Spitfire, I think it is 132 Spitfire. Um, I've got a, a, a Jeep, which is also the same size 132, 135, something like that. And uh, a Bedford um, MW, I think it is, for 135 scale. So I might make that into a smaller diorama and uh, just for something to do. And then the yeah. part where, and, uh, and pretty much everybody that's in our communities does uh, part work builds as well. So either the Titanic or uh, the Route Master bus or um, uh, the Volkswagen camper, uh, Samba camper van or the Spitfire or, you know, the, the, there's the, there's all sorts um, part work wise that we're building in our community. So there's always something of interest. And yeah, uh, I mean, I started off with uh, part works before. The, I mean, this is only my second plastic model kit. Um, yeah. But I actually started as a part part work builder, and um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And I mean, I was worried that I would be impatient because you have to wait. Yeah actually as it happened um i was all right it was it was good it was something to look forward to and yeah um and it's also so yeah i started doing these and um i'm really enjoying it um especially this one i think this is like you know i did my first kit was the mini uh, which was just a starter set um, and it was fairly inexpensive because I wanted to get a feel for it and see how I got on with it. I didn't want to spend too much money. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I ended up with this one. And obviously this is, you know, it costs a lot more than your standard starter kit. Yeah. But, you know, saying that, I'm really trying to do the best I can with this, and I think you're doing really, really well, really well. But obviously, um, but yeah, and also within the community, uh, I think you were going to just about mention is that um, you know we also have crafters in there, uh, myself included. So we do Thursday nights, for example, we do the crafting quiz. So um, we do things from cross stitching um, to um you know diamond painting or all sorts of all sorts of stuff like that yeah uh, you know i do a bit bit of diamond painting and stuff as well on the thursday um with judy and chris that do the um disney's doll disney dolls house at the moment yeah coming along really nicely and that's on a monday night normally it's the Eddie Stone Mad Wagon as well, isn't they? Yeah, Eddie Stone which you're doing yourself, Dave, aren't you? Yeah, uh, the but not live. Christine is, um, isn't she? Your your Chris, your Christine is, yeah, 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 your wife. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, as Dave said, there's there's always so much, there's always something going on, and you know we we just do it because we enjoy it. Really, nothing more to it. Yeah. So, you know, we haven't got uh, thousands of subscribers and things like that. Um, but, you know, we've got some really good quality, we've got some lovely quality um, followers. And, you know, as I said in a previous show, I'd rather quality over quantity. You know, you can have like, you know, thousands of subscribers, but. yeah that's true nice to have we have our regulars come in all the time and uh, it's just really nice yeah and we do encourage more so yeah if you uh yeah by all means if you want to come along and join us and join any of the facebook groups and likewise if we can join your your group that would be great and then our dano's doing the um 
the new build at the moment, the the Batman, um, the Batman Tumblr. Yeah, he's doing that, isn't he, Young Dunner? So that kicked off last uh, last week, this week. Um, so yeah, that's that's a nice new build. Trying to show this off to its potential, but it's a bit difficult. <laughs> Uh, but it's spare wheel. But spare wheel won't be underneath, it'll be uh, in the body on this one. So it's got dust on the tyre. From my mucky, my mucky board, which I'll have to clean. So then there's, this is 124 scale, so. Um, those of you who have not seen a 124 scale uh, model before. So what are we were uh, we're eight inches there in length. So by the time it gets its bonnet on and everything else, probably been nearer nine inches in length. And uh, and then what are we width wise? We're three nearly three and three quarter inches wide, I should think, by the time it gets its body on. Yeah. Uh, nearly, nearly four inches wide by the time it gets its body on and about the same height wise about four inches height wise so yeah um and that's for those of you who have not seen a 124 scale before uh, so let's have, just have a quick look at the chat so i do believe uh, yeah um Okay, let's go back up here somewhere. So Lindsay says cool, and uh, Lee says uh, like your live streams. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Lee. Uh, Lee says cool, Dave. Is vid on it yet? Okay, and then um, uh, Lee says I like building from scratch. That's good. And uh, Liz, Lindsay says, I only have built one part wax, which is the 116th Tiger one by, that's Harshet, yeah, Harshet. So I think that's the one that's Dano's done, aren't it? J Dano and Jordy Dave? Yeah. I think they built the Tiger tank. I think so. Yeah, I think it was Dano. Dano's university, yeah, I think he has. So, yeah, by our shirt. Uh, Lindsay says, do, I, do you have the model or gauge by, any, by our shirt? Uh, by, but I haven't uh, built it yet. No, we, we haven't got that, but, um, well, if, if you've got it, it uh, sounds fantastic, doesn't it? The, the, the mallard, obviously. And, and obviously, we've seen the mallard in real life as well. Um, what am I? Um, 30 miles from York from the York Museum where it is and when we when we all met up we all had our photograph taken beside the lad. So uh so Lisa's uh I like your live streams. Thank you very much uh Lee and uh Lee says looks good Dave thank you and uh Lee says looks good Horlicks. Thank you very much. Yeah I'm nearly I'm nearly ready to uh You're nearly ready, aren't I'm gonna knock these um groups off now, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I was hoping to get some wheels on and the wings, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to manage that um this evening. Uh, uh, yeah. I I will probably do it. I don't know if I'll do it off stream or not, probably. But all I need to do is put the wheels on right. Like, uh, Dave has but the thing is I have test fitted the front but I've not test fitted the rear so I think they're going to need a bit of sanding yeah um, so I want to make sure this is dry and everything um, and I need to do another coat yeah I need to get this um, more up to my eye level to see to, to sort of look across it so um, I need to stand it on something um and I'll find something uh, after the stream and I'll stand it on something just to get my eye 
may I down it just to see if the, everything looks all right. Um, chassis wires and that. Uh, I know these these tires don't look quite right at the minute, but I haven't I haven't glued the tires on and I haven't glued the wheels onto the end of the stub axles yet. Uh, so I think it's probably best that I don't glue them on right now. So it, it, one thing I feel that it is a pity about, and that's we can't pose the wheels, you know, in a in a turned in a turned way. They have to go straight. Mm. So that that's one thing that does lay it down. But um, you know, it's not too bad at the end of the day because uh, yeah, I'd like to pose it with with the wheels turned. But I suppose. Uh, it's possible I could do that, but I don't want to disrupt any of the steering gear that's on it. So, um, I do like the way it's sitting at the minute, and yeah, I've got some detail I can pick out with my chrome pen. I've just realised, so I can do some detail in between now and next stream, and between now and next stream, I can work on the cab and the and the and the body and the um re -sand these and re-paint them again and see if i can get the at least the bonnet and the bonnet sands the dark of the cab done and the um the uh, dashboard uh, but i'd like to get the um the scuttle done as well because i noticed that there's a lot of work in the scuttle with the seats and everything so uh, yeah, I've got to work on the interior and all that. Um, I'm going to do that probably on the next stream. Because my, my, my um, wings are all in this box. So, and, um, and then the other bits on the steering wheel and then the bonnet clips and what have you. So yeah, there's some bits and bobs still left on them sprues. So yeah, I'm loving it so far. <laughs> oh I'm loving it so far. I'm thinking that I'm just going to try and stick this on there. Somebody knocking? Oh, it's me trying to get the paint out. I'm nearly running out of this. Um, ah. So I've done so much black, but I think. Um, also probably before the next stream um because i don't want to do too much ahead of the stream but i like to get some bits done just to boost me along a little bit um, yeah what else i'll be doing is going over all of this because the paint comes off really easily still if you touch yeah. it the paint comes off even though i've primed it but i'm going to give it a coat of this clear gloss varnish yeah that's a good idea um once it's all dry everything um so Obviously, it won't be no, that noticeable, probably. I mean, you might see a bit more of a shine to everything. Yeah. Um, but I want to get that done because that takes a long time to dry that clear stuff. This yes. paint dries quicker than that. Yeah. So once I've got all the, the coats and touched up everything I need to touch up, I'm still finding little bits where I'm handling it on the spring. That's, the, yeah. It's it, it, taking the it, paint straight off it's rubbing off isn't it yeah or it's flattening this paint a little bit so i mean yeah some of the paint you're not going to see i mean i've just fit fit the body on there just temporarily just sat it on so if i lift it up and turn it over you'll oh, be able wow. to see what you can see on the underneath you know so yeah you'll be able to see all the flat surfaces underneath but all the flat surfaces on top of the chassis you work, will you? No. So you won't, you won't see all them flat surfaces on top of the chassis. Because obviously the body would be on it. So, but yeah, I just couldn't resist uh, doing that. Just to, just to show to you the underneath. So. And, uh, the decals on and everything. But, yeah, but... Look fantastic, on not it? So yeah, I'm 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 really pleased how it's going. Really, um, 
I am very tempted to 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 weather it, but I think it's too late now in the, in the in the day to to start doing that. I think I'm not going to bother to weather it at all. I think I'm going to leave it as standard, and then I'll do the rest as standard, and then do the rest as I said I would do them for like a Vauxhall Bedford dealers, and um, now I've got to look out for some sort of case to put it in. Um, that that would be okay because obviously I've got some Sunstar. Uh, Bedford as well to to go along with them. Yeah. So yeah, does anybody know of any one twenty fourth scale uh, cars from the nineteen forties or very early nineteen fifties that would go along with this build? Um, I've got a couple of the Sunstar um, models. Uh, in one twenty fourth scale, but I haven't got any cars, uh, especially Vauxhall ones or uh, anything like that of the nineteen forties or fifties, late forties, early fifties would be ideal. Um, to, to, uh, I know there's a lot of American cars and things on the market at one twenty fourth scale, but it's more British cars that I was looking for. Just probably just two or three would would be ideal. Um, I don't even know if there's any kits available, but going down the kit line is, yeah, it's going to make it more work, but if I have to do that, but if there's like um, die-cast ones um, of, of 124th scale, that would be great. So, um, just going to go back to the chat a little bit where Oh, goodness me. So, um, Lindsay says that he has the Mallard in O gauge by Ashet, but I haven't built it yet. So, yeah, I've got, um, oh, goodness me, what have I got? I've got the old Diagostini Spitfire, uh, the one that first came out, the, the remote control one. Um, my son started to build it and then lost interest. And, um, and then, anyway, I bought it off him and um it's just in a cupboard uh stored at the minute so but yeah that's the diagostini uh, remote control spitfire i know that they're not very good um because you know i've been reading up about one and what have you but i think it'd be nice as a static model uh, as it is and uh, and then I've, my ambitious pro project of all would be the um the Lancaster, which is 90 inch wingspan, which I really would like to do, or finish, um, by uh, Chris Girls. Um, he did an article in, um, yeah, RCMNE, &E, uh, that's the Radio Control Model Aircraft magazine. And uh, Chris Girls, he built a, a Lancaster that was. Uh, had, had all four engines working uh, that he could fly remote control, which was mostly by um, it was um, laminated uh, wings with um, f the blue foam, you know, the the foam that you put in freezers, uh, laminated them with um, all sorts of things, you know, like brown paper and such like. And then he made a fuselage with um, uh, ply and uh, and balsa and i've got the fuselage of that made i've got the engines and uh the props and the fuel tanks and all that malarkey uh but i've got to i've got to make the wings uh, more than anything else so i've got the whole plans for it uh but uh part wax came along and stopped me so mm. <laughs> yeah that's that's uh one that i really want to do but um the chris girls Lancaster. Somebody said they would they would build it for me once. Uh, a, a guy over in Scunthorpe he said he would build it for me for a price. I said, "Oh, that's that's good." I said, "But obviously, I can't afford him to for him to for him to build it like." Right. So I'm waffling on. So how are you getting on? I think I am ready to finish now. Um, yeah, I didn't quite get as much as I wanted, but I've done a lot, so um, I'm just trying to get the just touch up these last few bits. Yeah, 
and then it's all going to sit to dry. So yeah, yeah. Like the springs. Where I keep handling it, keep losing paint on the springs. Yeah, that's that, you know, that's one of the problems, isn't it? That uh, you've got to be so careful. That it's weird paint. I mean, does yours have that problem with the Tamiya paint? No, no, the Tamiya doesn't have that problem. But it, no. what it does, it 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 does produce finger marks um, where I've been gripping the chassis in certain places. So, and I've noticed that it's flatted out, and I've got my fingerprints imprinted in it. So, as though it's not dried rock hard you know so uh, yeah but, right. um, i think it's this paint and i'm not a fan of it to be honest yeah that's the humbro one wasn't it yeah it's this whole yeah. acrylic stuff and it, it almost goes on like rubber if you like yeah yeah I know. Good when it sits yeah but then as soon as you touch it you're not you know you can't yeah okay well uh, um so lee says again uh good good work and good stream thank you lee and then lindsay says uh okay guys gonna say good night i will look in, in in again on you guys thank you ever so much for that lindsay and um yeah if you can look us up with your uh facebook group by all means do um yeah um I'm Dave and uh, we've got Alex here, so, uh, but yeah, join us on either Facebook or, uh, or, or the other groups or anything, and i um, pretty sure you'll find us on one of the groups somewhere. I've got a personal Facebook page of me driving across the Umber Bridge uh, with a nice big smile on my face, uh, so if you're looking out for Dave Say, S-A-Y, that's me. And uh, so yeah, you can join us on Facebook that way, and then I can, um, I can join you to other groups if you wish. So yeah, good night, Lindsay. Anyway, take care, and um, thanks for coming along. Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah, thanks for popping in. Sorry, Dave, I'm keeping you here. No, you're all right. I'm not in any rush. I just want to get this last bit. I keep saying that. I'm just. I keep finding little <laughs> bits, but I want it covered now so it can just dry and then I can move on. Yeah. While it's on, you know, it makes sense just to get it all on, then it can have a really good dry so I can move forward because at the moment I can't be. No, you're all right. You'll, you'll take your turn because, I mean, I don't want, I don't want you to rush it. I um I'd be doing exactly the same if I'd been able to prep some paint work, but I'm not being able to do it, so I'm kicking myself really. But uh, the weather and everything, just nothing we can do, is there? So no, and I'm I mean I was lucky we had good weather today because I've been in the same boat as you, and like every time I went to paint, it yeah, was raining or it was. I finished work and it was pitch black and you couldn't see yeah. and it was just getting really annoying especially when you you know you're enjoying it and you just want to get on yeah you, you just can't do it well it's uh, you know i've got three projects that need painting uh and sort of immediately really and uh, you know with the two root masters the the blue root master and the up top root master and then this so and um, I'm just sort of weather bound, really, waiting for the weather to be right. Right. And it was just, it was just so really cold in my garage today. It was unbelievable. So, but yeah, I'm going to appreciate it more if I wait longer. I think. <laughs> yeah. I think. I think I think I'm done. If I find any more, I can do it afterwards. But yeah, wow. So that's where I'm at. Brilliant. So fabulous. Yeah. Everything's black. It needs to be black. I've done two steps. Yeah. And then modded the battery, which I'm really pleased about. Yeah. Let's have your uh, full screen for that. Go on. Yeah yes when it focuses 
you know. Okay. Come on, I think. It'll focus. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Looks real, doesn't it? Red, and I've painted this in silver, and that goes round to the starter. And then, yeah, yeah, I think it's just a nice little nice, nice touch little, that. Yeah, and you, and around doing that, you can see you can see that your bedford on the mat is nicely it's nicely poking out that now. So you can see that that's nicely come a, come out now. How's that bedford on the mat there on the step? Yeah, and I've just realised I've got to do. I'm just giving it a bit of extra coat now. Yeah, you've got that step to do. Yeah, I've got the um, okay. I've got the other side to do um, as well. Yeah. Oh, the um, the the dry brushing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've painted the other one, but obviously uh, it's too wet to do anything like that with at the moment. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this is coming out. I really am. Yeah. Considering I've not up. really done one like, properly. Just, just so relaxing. <laughs> There you go. Well, I'm done. I'm done washing the brush. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oops. It's one of them. There we go. So I'll well, change camera in a minute. Oh, yeah. You've got to do that. You've got to do that. Well, I can't do it really, actually that. because how does this fit on then? It just, uh, it just sits on top of them reels that we've just put on. What and the what about the tabs? Because they don't go into anything. Does it just oh, does it no, sit between them? Yeah, it just sits on. The, there's like little um, there's like little tabs on oh, there yeah. that it sits onto on the rails. And then I guess we we'll glue that. Do we glue the back? You'll you'll glue the back back on, yeah. And then the top of the rails. Yeah, but the the the, um, the tip will be getting them nice and square on there, getting the body square over the over the axle. Mm. Uh, that'll be the tip, and then um, we'll have to, you know, see how far it needs to be butting up to the cab as well. Yeah. So, because obviously your cab will be on there, and it, you'll have to butt it up to the cab wherever it butts up to, uh, wherever the cab comes to and i don't oh, think we'll be able to do that until we get the the bulkhead um once we get the bulkhead in then we might be able to see where it goes this is the bulkhead yeah well i'm guessing so, because well i'm guessing there's going to be a bit of a gap isn't there between the yeah there, there'll probably be a slight gap yeah between them yeah definitely but yeah, this the chariot body will will sit nice and square over there, and um, and then you'll have to you'll have to look each side, uh, what's equal to the um, to to the wheels and everything, and to the back of the chassis and to the front of the chassis, and get it sat nice and square, mm. and then, uh, it'll go on. But yeah, that's uh, that's how it'll do it. Right, I'm going to go cameras up. Uh, yeah. If I can find my camera. Do -do, you beat me. Oh, I've got some shortcuts. <laughs> just go. I'll just push short in one and it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah. And just, and, and just for Jardy Dave tonight again, I've got my Jardy Dave t shirt on that he gave me for Christmas. So, I keep calm and let Dave handle it. So, yeah. The, yeah. So, <laughs> I've got that on tonight, and um, yeah, so I've, I've, got, I've probably got at least um, enough t-shirts to put on one different one for a month. <laughs> hmm. Every day for a month. So, but yeah, 
Never put the wheels back away. Yeah, put the wheels back away. So make sure they don't come off anywhere. So. I need a good tip. Masking tape for your old blades and then wrap it up. Yeah, good idea. And then it doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. yeah um, I'm really sad that I couldn't get the wheels on tonight, but yeah. something to look forward to in the week. And then, um, yeah, well, as I said to you earlier, I'm probably going to get, might be able to get the wheels on, and then I'm probably going to get the wings on. They just sit on. Um that's my next part yeah. and I sort of want them to be glued on so in the manual that's step seven I mean the wings should have gone on before the rails but um yeah I'm gonna glue the wings on uh, the, the the wheel arches yeah the wings just to uh, right get them yeah. glued on um so next week it should look I've got the rails on already, so next week it should look. I'm not going to put the cab on yet, but next week we should have. Well, yeah, I'll have yeah. The, the bottom without with the with the wings on without the top. Yeah, well, what um, what Lindsay said in the chat here is. Uh is make sure you put the cab in first uh, before the wrecker body and um and that that way you'll go it land up a lot better yeah um but yeah I, I, i'm not sure does it say cab first or back first on the instructions i know yeah, it says the back cab. first but it does it, yeah it does uh, put the back on first then the then the uh, scuttle and then the cab step um, nine but then i'm guessing I suppose you could yeah bring it back if it needs to be back i mean there's like um there's divots so it, it when you slide the the, the cap the back on it's gonna it should line up because you've got divots here and it'll push yeah. up the back but obviously i've not built this and Lindsay has so yeah we're gonna take Lindsay's advice on that one so yeah i think i'm gonna do the same because yeah uh, obviously i'm not good either any of your help because yeah the last thing you want to do is glue that on and then think oh no and the cab's not going to fit and it'll just ruin yeah, it yeah or it's not square or something yeah um and to be fair that's probably the best thing to do anyway because we've got some work to do on the back yeah um yeah i've got some more gluing to do we've got to glue some bits on there and yeah etc plus the fat i might have to drill some oh actually There is no brake lights, is there? Where do the brake lights go? Because they don't go on the back of there. It might not have brake lights, but it might have um, side lights. They'll be right on the end. I can't even see them. The, 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 the side lights will be, will be right on the end of the body. Where, where, the, um, where the number plate is. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's a shame. Yeah, where the number plate is. Where, what parts that? Where do they get fitted then? Mm. Oh, step eight. H eleven. Let me have a look. Yeah, you've got two little lights right on the back there. I'm one just... above the um, number plate, and one the other side. H eleven. Oh, I well, see. Where... You've got wear clamps on the on the crane as well. I was really hoping they were going to be clear because mm. I wanted to light them, mm. and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that now. You might be able to make clear ones. <sighs> Scratch build my skill set. Scratch build with a bit of plastic card, maybe. The only thing I could do is perhaps, I don't know what it'd look like, Dave. 
Oh god, what's this? Oh god, why have I got an instant replay coming up? <laughs> I don't know, it's gone up. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, <I'll take> <coughs> um so this is gonna be oh you can't see. That is the light. Yeah. Yeah. It's too bright. Yeah, that's that's yeah. I'm wondering if I can drill a very small hole in the middle. Yeah. And then poke the LED through the back just so it's just at the surface. You could do, yeah. And then go over it with red paint. Yeah. And paint the LED. Yes. Just to try and blend it in. Yeah. And just hope I get a little bit of luck. So I don't want it too bright, but I've got resistors, so it would be dim anyway. Yeah. Then I'll paint over it, fill the paint, fill the hole with some extra paint. Hopefully, yeah. it will give it a nice subtle glow through the paint. I don't know. I mean, I'll be using the Tamiya paint. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be very translucent, but you can get that clear clear paint from Tamiya. Yeah, it's coloured. Uh, so I might, and then to fit that, I'm going to have to drill holes in the back of this cab. Just yeah. in the well, basically in the middle of these div. I oh, can't see. Yeah. Divots. Yeah, where the where the lights go. Yeah. And poke them through, yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, you get the gist. Um, yeah. I can maybe, God, this light, what's wrong with the lighting? <laughs> I can't see a thing now. Anyway, I'm going to have a ponder on that. Yeah, okay, no problem. But yeah. So, um, Lindsay also says, uh, yeah, if you don't put the cab on first, You'll have problems. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I can see why. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see why. So thank you for that, Lindsay. Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely put the cab on first, and and um, and then build backwards. So yeah, thank you. So I guess something that we'll probably end up starting next week, then, will it? Uh, quite possibly. Yeah, quite possibly. I've got um quite a lot of painting still before then but yeah <laughs> well based on tonight well like, well yeah there's that but based on tonight oh, we're gonna have to oh, start yeah. at the clock i think <laughs> the thing is you do get carried away and or maybe i've gone you know maybe we've gone on a bit too long i don't know but we've still That's got nine right. watches and so you know people are interested as much as yeah we are enjoying the build, so yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, that's good. Lovely, right then. Yeah. Well, I think the table again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is yeah, dry. Let's, let's go down and have another coat now. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to say goodbye then. So, thank you everyone for, for watching us, and um, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying this series. I certainly am, and. Uh, I just yeah, I can't. I can't find words. So I'm just really, I'm, really chuffed with how that's come out. Really chuffed. I'm really glad you're enjoying it, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it too. And um, yeah, it's reviving a few memories for me of different things, uh, which is all right. So and um, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully. Uh, next week we'll have some more progress yes hopefully. yeah hopefully so yeah thank you ever so much for watching everybody and uh the night from me lovely okay and just before we go lee says good stream no we'll see you on the next one uh, our, uh lee is live tomorrow at 5 p.m so yeah okay. uh, check out lee and um tomorrow and i will put your link in one more time find it there you go 
Uh, just for the stream tomorrow. Yeah. Please. There we go. You'll find these links in the description. Um, and obviously, oh, there's comments, everyone. Yeah, so take care all and uh, see you on another stream. Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you for joining.